Kindred opens with the novel's protagonist, Dana, contemplating the loss of her left arm. Dana and her husband, Kevin, discuss the incident, both agreeing the truth will cause them to appear insane. In the introduction, it's June 9th, 1976, Dana's 26th birthday. Dana grows dizzy and is transported to a riverbank, where she saves a red-haired child, Rufus, from drowning. Dana ends up traveling to the past every time Rufus is seriously endangered. When her own life is endangered, she returns to her own time. In the rising action, Rufus, a few years older now, sets his drapes on fire, and Dana saves him again. Their conversation leads to the revelation that Dana has traveled to Maryland in 1815. Rufus is the son of a slave owner, and he and his family live on a plantation. She remembers that the family Bible lists Rufus Whalen as the father of Hagar Whalen, Dana's grandmother and that Hagar's mother was a black woman named Alice. Soon, Kevin holds on to Dana, and they both travel to the antebellum South together. Eventually, Tom Whalen, Rufus's father, whips Dana, and the pain spends her back to her own time, but Kevin is left behind. Days later, Dana arrives back in the 1800s as a black man is beating Rufus, while a woman in a torn dress watches. The woman is Alice. Rufus, now 18 or 19, has raped Alice, and the man beating him is Isaac, Alice's husband, and a slave. Dana helps Isaac and Alice flee, but they're caught, brutally punished, and ultimately sold. Alice is not only ravaged by dogs and nursed back to health by Dana, but forced to become Rufus's slave as punishment for her part in the escape. Kevin finally comes back to the plantation, and soon Dana and Kevin tumble back to Los Angeles. Dana teleports back just before Hagar's birth. Once Hagar is born, Alice determines to run away because Rufus refuses to free their children. Dana slits her wrists as a means to control her travel back to her own time, but Dana is pulled back to the past again by Rufus's thoughts of suicide. Alice has killed herself. To punish Alice for running away, Rufus told her he sold their children, when in fact, he sent them to live with his aunt in Baltimore. In the climax of the novel, when Rufus tries to rape Dana, she stabs him to death. In the falling action, this act propels her to her present time, but her arm is crushed in the wall, in the exact place Rufus grips her on the other side. Dana and Kevin discuss their experiences, trying to preserve their sanity. And in the resolution, there's no more time traveling to be had, but Dana's arm is forever severed.